This is an S1 Section A question. It involves a garden centre with a box containing 50 hyacinth bulbs. Now, in statistics questions, I like to picture the scenario. I wasn't sure what hyacinths look like, but obviously from the context of the question, it's just some sort of flower. It turns out they look like this, but I'm just going to picture blue and red flowers. So in this question, we've got 30 bulbs which will produce a blue flower and 20 which will produce a red flower. And they've been mixed together, so it's not known which of the bulbs will produce a blue flower and which will produce a red flower. This means we can look at the probabilities of getting various combinations of flowers. So Karen buys three of these bulbs, and the two things we'll be interested in are the probability that all three produce blue flowers, and then the probability that she can get at least one flower of each colour. So she'd have at least one blue, at least one red, and then the other one could be either red or blue. In the question we were given information about the number of each type. So we had 20 red flowers out of the 50 bulbs and we could simplif simplify that to make two fifths. Similarly for the blue flowers, 30 blue flowers out of 50 and that could simplify to give three fifths. Now this is actually an example where simplifying the fractions doesn't help us. In fact, it might mislead us. We're looking for the probability of getting three blue flowers. So we might think that's just blue times blue times blue using times for and. We want a blue flower and a blue flower and a blue flower. So we might think that's just going to be three fifths cubed. But in fact, that's not the case. What we should do is picture the tree diagram. The first flower that we choose could be blue or red and we can work out the probability of getting each type and for a blue flower that will be 30 out of 50. Now the second bulb may also be blue but for this to happen if the first bulb became a blue flower then we've already used one of those so we've only got 29 left out of the 49 bulbs. So the second fraction we would multiply by and multiplying because we're going along the branches on the tree diagram then we multiply we get 29 out of 49. Then finally for the third flower, if we've already had two blue flowers, we've got now only 28 left out of 48. So multiply by 28 out of 48. Putting all of this together and simplifying our fraction, we get a probability of 29 out of 140. We may decide to write this as a decimal, which is absolutely fine. We get 0 0.207. I've rounded this to three significant figures, which is fairly standard, but then I must write the rounding that I've used. So I've just put in brackets here 3SF to show that I've rounded that value. We then move on to the second part of the question, and we're looking for the probability of at least one of each colour. Now we could have two reds and one blue, or we could have one red and two blue. But for each of these, we've got different orders in which we could put the flowers. We could have red, blue, red, blue, blue, red, all different types of ways of doing it. So that could be quite a long and complicated calculation. In fact, it's going to be much easier to look at what we're not interested. If we do one minus the things we're not interested in, it'll be a quicker calculation. So we don't want blue, 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 and we don't want red, red, red. We already know the probability of three blues from before, so it's going to be one minus, and then it will be this value, or, so we'll plus, and the probability of getting three reds will calculate in a similar way, imagining the tree diagram. So we've got one minus, because it's what we're not having, 29 out of 140 for the three blues, that's the value from before, and then here we've got the calculation for the three reds. So 20 out of 50 for the first red, and then if we've had a red already, there's only 19 reds left out of the 49 bulbs, and then 18 left for the final one out of now 48 bulbs. Putting that together, it turns out to give us 36 out of 49. Again, we may rewrite this as a decimal, and I would choose to round it to three significant figures, so I get 0 0.735 to three significant figures.